of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, and the babe lying in a manger. Therefore let us read and mark in Holy Scriptures the tale of the loving presence of God from the first days of our disobedience, unto the glorious redemption brought to us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world, for peace on earth and goodwill among all the people, for unity and brotherhood within the church he came to build, and especially in this our community of downtown Kingston. And because this would rejoice his heart, let us remember in his name the poor and the helpless, the cold and the hungry, the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, and all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who Rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light. That multitude which no man can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom in the Lord Jesus we are one forevermore. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven, in the words of which Jesus Christ himself taught us.
May the Almighty God bless us with his grace. May Christ give us the joys of everlasting life. And unto the fellowship of the citizens above, may the King of Angels bring us all. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 8 to 15 and 17 to 19. God tells a sinful Adam that he has lost the life of paradise and that his seed will bruise the serpent's head. The man and his wife heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze, and they hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. He said, Who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, The woman whom you gave to be with me, she gave me the food to eat, and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, What is this that you have done? The woman said, The serpent tricked me, and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you shall go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike your head and you will strike his heel. And to the man he said, Because you have listened to the voice of your wife, and have eaten of the tree about which I commanded you, you shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground because of you. In toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you and you shall eat the plants of the field. But by the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, until you return to the ground. For out of it you were taken, you are dust, and to dust you shall return.
second lessons from Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. God promises to faithful, Ab faithful Abraham that in his seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed. Genesis chapter 22, verses 15 to 18. The angel of the Lord called to Abraham a second time from heaven and said, By myself I have sworn, says the Lord, because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, I will indeed bless you and I will make your offspring as numerous as the stars of heaven and as the sand that is on the seashore. And your offspring shall possess the gate of their enemies. And by your offspring shall all the nations of the earth get, gain blessing for themselves, because you have obeyed my voice. reading from the book of Isaiah chapter 9 reading from verse 2 and 6 to 7 the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light those who live in a land of deep darkness on them light has shined for a child has been born for us a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, 
Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this.
A reading from Isaiah chapter 11, beginning at verse 1. Isaiah 11. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse, and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The Spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. With righteousness he shall judge the poor and decide with equity for the meek of the earth. The wolf shall, lie, shall live with the lamb. The leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion and the fatling together. And a little child shall lead them. The cow and the bear shall graze. Their young shall lie down together. And the lion shall eat straw like the ox. The nursing child shall play over the hole of the asp. And the weed child shall put its hand on the adder's den. They will not hurt or destroy on all my holy mountain. For the earth will be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea.
a reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, 26 to 35, 38. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
who are reading from the Gospel according to Luke chapter 2. May I read verse 1, verse 3 to verse 7. In Adam time then, the Roman ruler Caesar Augustus did the other thing write down the name of everybody in the kingdom. This is the first time name I write down since the time when This is the first time they have ride on since they have ruled over Syria. All the people them did have to go to the town where they ban to get them near right on so the government can tax them. So because Joseph did come from David's family and David did ban in Judea, he did have to go back to Nazareth in Galilee and go to Bethlehem in Judea. Joseph got there with Mary, forget them name right now. The two of them began to get to marry them one another, and she did have baby in her belly. When them dead, Mary take in for her baby, and she have her first picnic, one boy. She wrap him up in a baby blanket, and put him in a warm box, in a way the animal them near motor. Because no space never in the guest house for them. A reading from the book of Luke, chapter 2. 
reading from verse 8 to verse 16. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this, this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in a manger.
born in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem asking, Where is the child who has been born king of the Jews? For we observed his star at its rising and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, in Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophets. And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me word so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had been seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they left for their own country by another road. St. John unfolds the great mystery of the Incarnation. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through Him, and without Him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, when he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world came into being through him. Yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who are born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the Word became flesh and lived among us, 
and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 